Hi. Let's see like how to fix test flight beta has expired. Are you waiting the beta has expired message? The test flight when it has not expired. Test flight is an invaluable tool for developers to test their iOS apps with limited audience before making them available to the public. It allows developers to share their app with beta testers and gather feedback, identify bugs and issue fixed issues. However, sometimes the test flight users encounter an issue where they receive a beta has expired message when the app has not expired it. In this particular video, we will discuss why this issue occurs and let's see like how to fix this. Possible causes of the test flight beta has expired issue. So one of the reason of the test flight beta has expired could be related to having many older builds that are expiring due to age. However, it is essential to double check that the only the latest non-expired build is the one installed on the device. Sometimes the error may occur due to the incomplete installation process, the bug in the app's code or an outdated version of the operating system. Another scenario that can lead to the beta has expired message is when a new build is available but the user has not updated to the latest version yet. It is advisable to update the app manually in such cases to restore it to a valid pin. So let's see like how to fix the test flight beta as expired. First method is uninstall and reinstall the app. One of the easiest and the most effective solution is to uninstall and reinstall the app. This ensures that the latest version is installed and eliminates any incomplete installations that may have caused the issue. To uninstall the app, press and hold the app icon until it wiggles and tap the X icon on the app's top left corner. After uninstalling, you can reinstall the app from the app store or by using the test flight. The second method is check and update the app. Sometimes the beta has expired message occurs because you have not updated the app to the latest version. In this case, updating the app manually can resolve the issue. Open this flight and check if there is any updates available and install the latest version. And the third method is refresh the test flight. If the issue persists, try refreshing the test flight by pulling down the screen to refresh the list of available apps. This action could reveal an update button if a new version is available. Tap on the update button to install the latest build. The fourth method is remove and add test flight account. If the issue persists, still persists, try removing and adding the test flight account. To do this, go to the test flight, click on internal testing and then select testers. Remove the tester account on the device that has the issue and then add it again. This method often solves the issue and allows the user to launch the app. The fifth method is load a previous build. If, a, if the above solutions do not work, you can try loading a previous build to the test flight. Click on the problematic app and then click on the previous builds from there. You can load a previous builds and update it with the update button or by clicking the install button most recent builds. The solution may only work temporarily but allows you to do download and test the most recent build for a few sessions. Still the message returns again until the message returns again. Okay. So that's all about this. Thank you.